My name is Osvaldo Di Campli. I'm running the Neutral Post uh, program for Nokia worldwide, and I'm also responsible for the Nokia business in Latin America. We have a specific definition for neutral host, which are those companies that uh, build, invest, and manage in telecom assets that then are shared within service providers and or enterprises. I am Rodrigo Cancino. I am the CTO of Netfibra. We are a neutral host in Chile and Sudamerica. Our Netfibra is a partnership between KKR and Telefonica Chile. We started our operation in 2021. Very beginning, we started with just 2 million of compasses and thanks to a strong investment funded in our commitment to reduce the digital gap in Chile, we reached 4 million of compasses. That means the 80% of the coverage of our country. Our offer in the, in the market is uh, an open and neutral network with a strategy to provide uh, services for the B2B and B2C market in Chile. Two main drivers for the neutral host model to raise. One, and we could say that this was true until six months ago, is the abundance of private equity money. There were many investors that were looking into infrastructure as a main place to invest. Number two is what happened with the communication service providers. Mainly, they have to make a decision based on the balance sheet on whether they invest on 5G or fiber. Some of them, they could not afford to invest on both. So basically, they have divest assets, they have created new companies where the private equity uh, companies had invested on. The neutral host model is evolving in a way that uh, is mainly driven by the business case of the two main actors that are part of this model. On one side, the neutral host themselves, and on the other side, on the tenants. So this model has to be financially viable for the two parties. What we're seeing with this model is that on a couple of data points, for example, in Europe, we predict that uh, by 2026, 50% of the fiber to the home connections will be in the hands of other than the traditional service providers. Also, we are seeing that tower companies are diversifying themselves. They're no longer happy with only managing passive assets. They're also getting into models where they introduce active assets, such as network as a service. We see this model evolving in such a way where there are new business models and new use cases brought into the picture. The challenges for neutral hosts could be the cost of the money, as what we're experiencing right now, while we think that will not stay forever. The other challenge is when there is an overbuild. You don't want to have many neutral hosts or few neutral hosts in a given geography. Therefore, overbuild is something that needs to be avoided. And unfortunately, this has happened. This model has been so successful that might have been a hype into some of these spaces. So most likely, consolidation will happen, which I think will be a good thing for this model overall. Here at the Network X event within Nokia, we're launching our enhanced Altiplano solution. You could think about the brain that makes the neutral host on the fiber space to become a reality. We are seeing that, as I said before, based on the number of connections that will be managed by other people other than the CSPs, it's extremely important to have a brain. And also, there are few references that we have acquired into this model. Just to mention one that is public, we have worked with uh, American Tower, one of the biggest tower companies in the world, where they're diversifying themselves into the fiber space. And uh, we're happy to report that we're par partnering with them in order to make this a reality. <laughs>